What's good everyone, it's the one on there, I'm Rafi Nam. If you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, want to see some gaming content in the future, give this video a like, and if you're new, go and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. Oh man, so the Raptors took game four. The Raptors stole both games at home, and the Raptors are up 3-1 on the Golden State Warriors. Man, that, that that's wild, man. That's wild. Um, yeah. Um, this series is open. <laughs> this series is open. Um, the Raptors are up 3-1, heading to um, back to Toronto in Game Five. And um, man, what a what a dominant performance, man! It, it was a really good game by both sides, but you know the Raptors they pulled through in the fourth quarter. Shout out to that man Kawhi Leonard, man. Like like Fitz Vegas said, show enough, man. He really. He really showed up for real, man. Um, this Raptors team is for real, man. I I know before the season, I, I predicted them to go to the finals. And this was my finals matchup before the season, but I had the Warriors win it. Uh, it did, and this was before the uh, season started. I had the Warriors facing the Raptors in six games and the Warriors winning in six. So, um, yeah, man, this is wild. Now, I did do my uh, NBA Finals preview earlier, and I was not said this series can go either way because it was so unpredictable with everything going on with the injuries and all. But, I mean, the Raptors, they just they just balling, man, on both sides of the floor, man. The defense is insane, man. The defense is insane, man. Um, shout out to that man, Serge Ibaka, man. You know the media is not going to show him no love. Serge Ibaka balled out. Uh, both sides of the floor. I'm mean, taking all type of contested mid-range shots, fadeaways off the dribble, looking like Kobe Bryant. And you know he was just getting money, man, in the post, everything, man. Shout out to that man, Sergi Baca, man. But you know, I know I just said the series is over. I mean, I'm I'm always a person that that you know I, I believe in. It's not over till it's over, but in no way am I betting on the Warriors to beat Toronto in five. I don't even care if KD comes back. And, you know, I got the report last night or early in the morning saying that um, KD, um, he's not ready to play still. Um, they said that he um, practiced on Thursday and, and he did some drills and he still wasn't ready to go out there, man. So. I mean, it's not looking good, man. It's, it's really not looking good. Um, but just on the game itself, um, for the Warriors, uh, shout out to that man, Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson showed up on both sides of the floor with injury, man. This is what I would be trying to tell people, man. Klay Thompson has mad heart, man. That dude has heart for real. And it's crazy because, you know, when you think of people uh, like, Klay Thompson pops, of course, playing the NBA. Of course, he played with the Showtime Lakers back in the 80s. And you know, there's always a stigma for NBA players' sons. They never work hard. They just, they just, you know, they go out there. They never go through adversity. But I mean, Klay Thompson. I mean, he, he, he grew up. He grew up, you know, um, in the NBA family, but still has that determination, man. So. Uh, shout out to that man, Clay Thompson, man. He definitely earned some stripes for real. And also shout out to Kevin Looney, man. Kevin Looney actually played in this game. That was surprising. Like, Kevin Looney, all reports were when he got injured that he was going to definitely be out for the rest of the uh, series. And he showed up in game four, man. I think he had like a, separ a separated collarbone or whatever. And you know, you're not supposed to mess with that collarbone muscle, man. That collarbone muscle is for real. Um, it's for real. And I mean, he showed out there and he actually played really well. He was playing well on both sides of the floor, defending that pick and roll. I mean, he was trying to defend the pick and roll. He got beat up in the post a bit by Serge Ibaka and Marc Gasol. But I mean, you know, he showed mad heart, man. That's why I got mad respect for Kevin Looney, man. Um, really, really earned some respect, man. He played through injury and went out there and showed some hustle and had some success on the floor. Um, now, for the rest of the players, 
Um, you know, just for the starting lineup, man, Draymond Green, he, he played well, I guess, if you look at the stat line. Like, you know, he put up, like, 17 points. Uh, oh, no, 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 my fault. 10 points, 9 rebounds, 12 assists. I mean, he was making plays, but he had a few crucial turnovers. That technical foul that he had in the third quarter was just unnecessary. It wasn't needed. And it, it kind of lost the Warriors some momentum. So, you know, that wasn't good. Andre Iguodala, Andre he's struggling this game, uh, really on both sides of the floor. And, you know, Iggy, the first two games, Iggy played well on Kawhi. Like, the first two games, Andre Iguodala was crucial. It looked like he was going to possibly win another Finals MVP, possibly. But it's like Kawhi, you know, Raptors. Shout out to Nick Nurse, man. Nick Nurse. <laughs> Nick Nurse, man. He, We got to give it to him, man. He's one of the best coaches in in the NBA. In my opinion, he's the best coach in the East, period. Uh, no disrespect to Mike Budenholzer, and no disrespect to Brad Stevens, but Nick Nurse is just that good, man. Nick Nurse is still that good. Now, I'm not saying that he's better than Greg Popovich. I still think that Greg Popovich is the best coach in the NBA. I mean, you can disagree with me, but Greg Popovich, in my opinion, is still that good. But, um, you know, just for Nick Nurse, man, he's out coaching Steve Kerr, man. He just is. He, that box of one is killer. The box of one that they ran on Steph, I mean, Steph struggling this game. I know he had 27 points, but he wasn't as efficient as he usually is. Like, the shots that he made, he really had to earn those, man. And, you know, Steph Curry, he made some, he made some really good plays. Like, I remember there was this one play where he ran off ball. Fred Van Lee was playing great defense, but he slipped through the screen. That was that was nice. Steph Curry, of course, he's gonna make a, a few of those uh, thirty footers that nobody else besides maybe Damian Lillard and KD probably take. But I mean, I mean, it, it's not it's not been the best series for Steph Curry. I mean, he's really struggling. I mean, the defense that they're playing, man. Defense wins championships, man. Shout out to that man, Kyle Lowry, man. Shout out to Fred Van Leet, man. And that elbow that Fred Van Leet took was crucial, man. Yo, the way that he was on the ground with blood everywhere, yo, that was disgusting. Two, two fell out. You know, Sean Livingston, he got him in the, he got him in the head for real. But it was good that there wasn't no concussions or nothing. But you know, that was. That was pretty ugly, but that's what the Raptors do, man. They play with heart. They play with defense, man. Defense wins championships, man. If you can play great defense and do your thing on the offensive side with Kawhi Leonard, man, come on, man. But um, yeah, man, this game was um, this game was wild. Also, talking about Demarcus Cousins, man. Demarcus Cousins, he just he just can't be played in this series, like. I believe he didn't play a single minute in the fourth quarter or the third quarter. I don't think he played in the second half. Maybe y'all can correct me, but maybe he played a little bit in the beginning of the third, but I don't think I remember him playing in the second half. Um, I know he started the game, but I mean, he's just, they take advantage of him in that pick and roll, man. Game two, he played really well in that pick and roll, really well. Um, in my opinion, he was probably the MVP for the Warriors in game two, but after that, I mean, they've just been taking advantage of him. Marcus Saw with his post defense, uh, he's been making it uh, hard for DeMarcus Cousins. You know, DeMarcus Cousins been trying to take people off the dribble, losing the ball. I believe DeMarcus Cousins, he had like the first three turnovers or whatever. Yeah, this has been a hard, a hard time for DeMarcus Cousins in this uh, series. and. For his free agency, I mean, no team's gonna give him the max, man. So, I mean, that goes to my next point that I was gonna make. Um, with me saying that the Warriors, I think the Warriors are done by game five, like I said earlier. I think Toronto's gonna finish them in game five, because there's no way, no way, no way that this team is gonna go to Toronto and beat the Raptors. I just don't see it. Not with the momentum that they have. I mean, you see Toronto, you see their fans, they all in it. They're, they're lit, they're ready. They're ready to win this championship, man. They're all in it. And when you have a player like Kawhi, who's looking like the best player in the NBA, um, I mean, 
what is, what is there to do? What is there to do, man? Um, it really wasn't, I mean, there really isn't nothing much to say, man. It's just Nick Nurse is out coaching Steve Kerr. Steph Curry can't get no open looks. Klay Thompson has a few open looks around the screen. Klay Thompson, man, he's falling up. He's falling up. And I'm not going to blame it on Steph Curry. I'm not going to say that he's choking like Max Kellerman might say. He's just struggling, man. The Raptors are playing great defense and you got to salute to them, man. Shout out to Kyle Laurie, man. I know he didn't shoot well on the offensive side, but, I mean, the plays that he was making, the plays that he was making, I don't ever want to hear anyone call Kyle Lowry a choker again, man. Especially the way that he was playing that fourth quarter. Dude was, he's the ultimate point guard, man. That, that drive that he had to the basket, to the rim, I mean, really ain't nothing much you can say, man. Kyle Lowry is that good on both sides of the floor. I know Danny Green, he didn't shoot well, but he actually kind of struggled in the defense side. Danny Green kind of struggled in this game. And, you know, he had, he had an amazing game in the previous game, but, you know, even with Danny Green struggling, he got Fred Van Leek giving you good minutes off the bench. So, I mean, the Raptors are just doing it, doing their thing. Raptors just doing their thing. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I really got to say on this, man. I'm at work on break, so I'm going to have to get off of this anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video. But pretty much to get off of this is Kawhi Leonard is that dude. And, yeah, the Raptors are going to finish the series in five, man. Sorry to go in state, but I don't really feel sorry because I'm not going to go off a of topic because I'm going to probably leave this for another video. But with KD, in my opinion, I think KD is going to miss game five. With KD missing game five, and in my opinion, they're going to end the series in game five. I know my Knicks fans are not going to like this. As a Knicks fan, I don't like this myself, but... I think this whole entire Warriors team is going to stay together for the next year. But <laughs> I know my Knicks fans are hurt when I just said that. Trust me, I'm hurt too. Man. I want KD in the garden too. But um, yeah, man, that's just how I'm feeling. But I'm going to leave that for another video. So that's pretty much it. And that's my take on this uh, game four. But like I said earlier, man, if you guys enjoy NFL, NBA content, want to see some gaming content in the future, Give this video a like if you're new. Go and subscribe to the channel. I'm the phenomenal one and I'm out. Deuces.